Hello, hello. Hello, okay, so your average Dylan, hello. Paul Brain, hello. Uh, BEF1990, hello. Uh, Datman Daya 808 hello. Welcome to the stream. Um, got a couple of people here today on Friday. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Today we're going to test some Nintendo Switch games which were crashing before. We're going to test the um, community fix which a few people in the uh, the Iron, Iron Discord uh, came up with, AYN Discord came up with. Uh, I do have some test requests which were in the comments. So uh, Jason Gan, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, uh, Sergeant Harden. <laughs> Dark Souls Remastered, Close But No Cigar, Fire Emblem, I'm not sure which one but I've got a couple of Fire Emblems. Uh, Close But No Cigar again with Pokemon Sword you want to see. Uh, EAN32 Mario Odyssey and then the only game which I couldn't uh, get hold of was uh, for Mr. J Joliel Elgado uh, Metro Redux so I haven't, uh, I haven't loaded this one but the rest of those games we should be checking today. So I'm just going to start with some Mario, uh, what's this Mario again? Mario Wonder, Super Mario Wonder uh, gameplay. And then I will talk a bit more about this memory uh, tweak that somebody found out uh, or some people found out about after I was streaming the other day. So it's almost um, time. So let's let's just start. Okay. So I've loaded uh, Super Mario Wonder, and let's try and let's try and just play it now. So I'm not sure if you can see the FPS in the corner, but I'm getting about 50. Uh, oh, 60 now. Okay, I was getting 50 FPS, but it's it's actually 60. Not really doing much on the screen, but uh, it's okay. Is the brightness okay? Because I, I know some people were saying that the brightness is not working too well. Um, because I have the screen too bright, but let me just check this camera setting. Okay, that, that should be all right. Okay, so let's go. This is Mario Wonder. So we can see that there's some FPS drops already, but it is working. I'm guessing this is how it works on a Odin Pro. Like it's like there's something there's something there actually, there's some missing textures. Uh but yeah, I, I'm guessing this is not too different from how it runs on an Odin Pro. Evertail eight eight eight. Does the base version have this issue when playing PS2 emulation? The base ver is enough for playing PS2 emu or need the pro ver? So um, I've not had this problem, this crashing problem at all with my Odin 2 base with P PS2 emulation. So um, I don't think you need to worry too much if you just want to play PS2 games. Uh, this is, just to confirm, I have the Odin 2 base, it's running out the high performance mod, and I have the, sman, uh, the fan on smart mod. We're just going to play through the first level of Mario Sunshine, uh, Mar not Mario Sunshine, Super Mario Wonder. Uh, but as you can see, the intro is playing alright with this new tweak, which we, uh, which we found out about yesterday from the AYN community. So it looks like we got, we can at least get get it working. Anyone else getting double audio? Oh, let me let me just check that.
Ja, det var jag. Okay, yeah, I don't hear any double audio either. Okay, let's continue. Oh, the audio has gone a bit weird on the game though. It sounds like there's some instruments that it can't play. Yep, so the speed is okay, but the yeah, but the um sound has gone a bit weird now. Oh, uh, we're going to get to the world map. Okay. Okay, so the, the, like the, oh, the sound looks, the sound's a bit odd. So the music's odd. The sound is okay, but the music went a bit weird. Okay, Evertel888, thank you for joining. Okay, so I'm getting around 35, 40 FPS at the moment. Uh, it does go up to 60 though, like quite quickly. So it sort of hovers between 40 and 60, which is pretty good actually. It's pretty smooth. Uh, but we do have some of these blocks though that that look invisible, which is a bit... Is this Yuzu? Yes, it is Yuzu. Uh, Daylight Silence, yes it helps. It helps a lot. Um, we will test more games and find out more. Uh, this is the... Um, this is the first game that I played. Um, I did, I did try a couple, a couple of other games, uh, but just booting them up. So I've not really played any games with this new memory setup, and I will show you how to do it shortly as well. So it does, um, yeah. The FPS is a bit variable on this game, like it, it does slow down to like thirty or forty sometimes. Uh, maybe when there's more stuff on the screen. I shouldn't have done that. We'll we'll find out. Uh, I do have some Pokemon games, so uh, we'll find out a bit later. Uh, and Paul, I will go through the tweak uh, just after this. Uh, I'll, I'll finish this level and then we'll we'll go through the tweak. I just wanted to open with a bit of gameplay. So yeah, it's dipping around to 20, 28 FPS just then. But yeah, it's like the, it's quite playable, I think, but maybe, you know, it's not ideal. Whoops. Okay, so that's the first level. Not not bad at all. Yep, 
Yeah, I think with a little bit of optimization, I think this game will be actually all right. I did hear that this game uses a lot of memory though. Like uh, there was someone with a 16 gigabyte uh, max Arden 2 and they said it was using like 12 gigabytes. But um, we'll leave it there for the, ga uh, the, the first game, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. And then I will take you through what this uh, this tweak is all about. So I'm running this on, on Yuzu, which we were having a ton of problems with before. And um, if you haven't seen any of the uh, investigation, uh, <laughs> then uh, I'll, I'll just cut to the chase. The problem is uh, the Odin 2, the entire line, it seems like they, when they were developing the operating system, they didn't add the virtual memory option to any of the uh, any of the Android systems. So what happens right, is the memory that you have in the machine is the only memory that you can use. So if you have an eight gigabyte, 12 or 16 gigabyte option, uh, you can only use that amount of memory. And then this is not really normal because usually there's a small bit of um, storage which is allocated to something called virtual memory. And then virtual memory uh, allows the uh, allows the uh, system to use um, a bit of the storage as as memory, which is it's slightly slower, but it it actually um, it helps a lot because if you get any like spikes in the memory usage, what will happen is that uh, your game or whatever your application is, uh, is it will probably just crash because it just uses too much memory. So that's what this little storage buffer is for uh, usually for. And it's on basically all operating systems. You know, it's even on Windows, uh, it's on uh, Linux, it's on Android. But for some reason, AYN they just didn't um, they didn't uh, implement it at all. So all of the Odin twos uh, have this uh, not implemented. But obviously, if you bought a more expensive model, then um, you're not going to see this problem as much. Whereas the base model has the has the worst uh, issue. So the fix is. Uh, let me just show you. So somebody in the AYN Discord made these scripts. So what these scripts do is they create a swap file. They, they create the virtual memory files for you, and then you can enable it. <clears throat> and um, there are three files um, that he's he's got on the, the Discord. And the first one here, the 4GB swap, uh, is the first one that you should run. So that, uh, what what happens right is this one actually creates your um, your virtual memory file and and as the name implies it is four gigabytes so he's also created like a um, I think he's created a six and an eight file as well but I found that um, the four gig is is fine because and also he's saying like uh, he couldn't see much usage in the other ones anyway so it it might be just um, it might be just the presence of the of the file is going to help. Not, not necessarily like the size of it for now. Um, and this particular file, what it does is it creates the file, uh, it uh, cr creates it and then uh, allocates the storage space and then turns the, turns the file, uh, turns the uh, virtual memory on. And then you have two other files um, that you'll need if you ever uh, want to get rid of this. So if you just want, if you, uh, you know, if you want to go back to how it was in, in stock and you want to return to how you're ordering to uh, always is, so you want to just reverse the process and just get rid of that file, you can use the delete swap file, script file. Um, so you, you will, what you'll do is you reboot your Odin 2 and then just run this and then your Odin 2 will be back to normal. It'll be back to however it was. There's no file there. The, the virtual memory is not activated. It's just how you, uh, how it would be when you, when you got it. So that's the important thing actually, because when you reboot your Odin 2, it, uh, it deactivates the swap file. Like the file is still there. The virtual memory file is still there, but it's not active after you reboot. So if I reboot it now, the file will still be in my uh, on my storage, but it's not using it as any virtual memory. So that's why we need this third file, which is to enable the the uh, the, the swap or enable the virtual memory. So you'd come back, um, and you'd come back, and then uh, from the reboot, and then you run this one. So I'll show you where you need to because you can't just run these directly from here. You need to run these from a special uh, part of the uh, settings, which is pretty easy to find actually. So you need something called the uh, root privileges on your machine, which means like it's uh, you've got like a a super user or like an admin user uh, level of of access on your machine, and you can actually just find that in in the settings menu, uh, sorry settings app. Just scroll down right to the bottom 
under order in settings you can come here and then scroll down to the bottom of this one and then there's a, an option here to call run script as root and then to run any of the scripts you need to do uh, you need to run it from this menu so you press that option run script as root and then it would come up with this pop-up I uh, hope you can see it okay yep and then um, you press select a script script and then you'd find the the script that I was just talking about so if you're running it for the first time you run uh, f uh, 4 4gb swap if you're running it uh, if you want to um, activate your virtual memory coming back from a reboot you'd press enable swap or if you just want to return to the stock settings you'd press uh, delete swap after rebooting so it's not uh, I mean it's a little bit technical and it, you know if, if it's skull going over your head and it's too this is too much then you know I, I think that if you just wait until December I think that AYN will have this officially sorted out but if you absolutely need to test using that right now, then uh, it is actually available to you and you can do this. Uh, because what AYN will do is they'll integrate this into the operating system and then we will get the virtual memory uh, option um, just out, you know, just in the in the in the actual system. So it'll just work. So if you if you're desperate to, you know, if you're desperate to try it, go ahead. But if you if you want to be a bit patient and just make sure it's all tested uh, and then uh, you can watch people like me blood out into uh, base up um, testing this kind of <laughs> memory thing. So another way to confirm that it's working is you can go into the terminal. You can type in the option which I was trying um, last time, which is free uh, dash m, uh, and then you can confirm that it works because you remember before if you go back to my previous stream, I was saying oh the memory is only uh, seven one nine nine. Uh, in size here and then I was saying that the swap was zero now you can see the swap here we have 4095 of, of swap memory so it's actually uh, this is the proof that it actually works okay um, Evertail 888 has a question the fix works for Mario just now right so it works for everything so any anywhere where there was some kind of memory issue it should work because we've got in in theory right we've got about 12 gigabytes now like we've got eight eight gigabytes of real memory and then we've got this four megabyte uh, four gigabytes of uh, slower memory which is from the storage this is the this is the fix uh, that we're testing okay so the uh, vs ridge i think you just joined vs ridge but um i'm testing the community uh fix uh the scripts that were just um, uh, that were released yesterday by by somebody in the AYN official Discord. Uh, that is the 4GB swap file, uh, script file, and then uh, the enable swap file. So it wasn't something I created, but it was something that was uh, created in the um, community uh, Discord. Right, so let's go to the actual results. So you saw Mario Wonder before, uh, maybe in my previous stream. When I tried it, it was just crashing. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't really doing anything in Yuzu. Uh, but today we played through the first level, and then now we'll go through some of your uh, some of your requests. So uh, let me just get the list of requests back. Um, okay, let's try um, let's try Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So Jason Gan KS requested this one a while ago. And I'm assuming it it crashes without the without the patch, but we'll just try it today with uh, with the um, scripts turned on. Uh, okay. So you'll see, you'll probably see like these games might take a while to load as well because I wonder if that's an effect. Because we have that little uh, extra bit of slow memory, I think that it takes a while for these uh, games to load. So we'll just hang around on this screen a minute and we'll see what happens. Let's just give my, let's give my hand a rest. <laughs> okay, uh, didn't, 
uh, VS Ridge. Okay, so uh, Diablo Three after Pokemon, please. Okay, actually, Diablo Three is a bit easier to run. I think. I think that's one. That one is uh, a game which does actually work. Uh, Hades. I didn't try Hades actually. I don't think I've got Hades loaded, so I might be able to do that one. Yeah, Diablo Three did work before. Uh, T O T K or Tears of the Kingdom is that it? Okay, so we got the Bandai Namco uh, logo, which is good. So that took a while to load, but it still still worked. Uh, oh, Tears of the King, Zelda, right? Yeah, yeah, Zelda. Sea of Stars. Okay, right. Okay, so we've got into Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Hopefully. Uh, let's play offline. So I'm wondering if you have one of the faster, if you have one of the bigger rep memory uh, Odin 2s, I wonder if that loads quicker. Did Dark Souls work? Uh, I'll give you a spoiler, Dark Souls does work. It works, but there's some graphical issues. And we'll check that out in a moment because that's one of the requests. Uh, oh, can we not skip this? Okay. Unskippable cutscene. We'll A uh, question from uh, Evertail888 about online. So I haven't tried any online stuff for Switch. I, I mean, I don't want to get into any trouble, so I didn't, I didn't try online. Okay, this looks... Wow, this looks... Uh, let's throw some Zs, whatever that is. Okay, I, I, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but... Um, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's... Yeah, okay. I've got no idea what's going on, but it looks like it works. Can I just get into like a fight? Uh, it, it, this is a fighting game, right? Okay, yeah. This is undocked mod. This is not the docked mod, this is handheld mod, not docked mod. Does the side panel show if you're using swap when using... Okay, so something I noticed, um, Paul, um, the I noticed that the memory does count. So the, the swap memory that I added uh, using the script it looks like it brings down the memory usage uh, on here because usually it's like in the 60s or something, but then it's gone down slightly. Uh, Goshan is saying try to do a fusion, so I've got no idea what that means because I, I don't play um, Dragon Ball games. Oh, okay, everyone's in Jap speaking Japanese. <laughs> Um, can I just fight something, please?
I just want to... Okay, so the... Uh, the FPS is not too bad, actually. It's better than Wonder. Uh, um, yeah, this this looks actually quite good. Oh, we can skip it. Okay, skip. Yeah. Okay, so this game looks like... Um, it's actually... The cutscenes and the menus are all, all good. I really hope the fighting works, because it, it will be a bit frustrating if we get this far and the... Not oh, what that press. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go. Okay. Uh, is this is it loading? I think the load times in this game are not not that good. Yeah, the, the load times are a bit terrible, actually, in this game. Whoa. Uh, oh, come on. Oh, what? Okay, so... This game... This game works great. This game is pretty cool. I mean, it's... It, the, the other character's not doing much, but I think this game looks great. Okay, yeah, like, the, it's a bit slow to load, I guess, but this game, uh, like, runs at 60 when you're playing the game, so that, when you're playing the fighting games, so that's, that's pretty good. All right, so I've got a lot of games, so we're gonna we're gonna move on. So Dragon Ball Fighter Z, I think even even though the loading's a bit slow, I think when you get into the game, it's pretty good. So I think this one is pretty playable. So uh, what did I say next? Okay, so um, did I did I say Pokemon next? We can we can try Pokemon games. I got a couple. Uh, do you want Pokemon Sword or um, what else did I have? Uh, let's just check my games. So I've got Pokemon Sword and uh, oh, I thought I had something else. Uh, I I think Pokemon Sword might be the only one I I fit on this SD card. Uh, so I'll go for that one. Uh, Daylight Silence. Yes, it is. Oops. It, yes, it is using this community script. Um, obviously, you know it, it might. Uh, it's not official, so I just give you that disclaimer. You know, it's um, it, it's not made by AY, AYN themselves. Um, it's probably not, you know, on the warranty or whatever. But it's just um, it, it seemed okay to run to me, so I, I thought I'd just try it. Are Switch games like eight gigabytes generally? Uh, the Switch, I believe, only has four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but when you're emulating it, uh, you probably need a bit more. Uh, okay, so sometimes Yuzu does do this where the game just crashes straight away, and I I do try it again, and then and then it, it it can it can work. So at least we're not getting like before, you know, where it was just freezing the Odin two completely, and we can try again. Uh, yeah, there you go. So s sometimes you'll get in Yuzu where it will just crash back to the main menu, and that's actually not too bad. You know, you can just try again, see if you can get into the game. The game size. Oh, sorry, uh, Viz Vizridge. Yep, yeah. the game sizes are. Um, there can be like one gigabyte. There can be four. Um, a lot. Of, some of these are like 10 gigabytes. So like the Dragon Ball game, for example, I think is about 11, 12 gigabytes. Uh, Evertel 888. Yes, I I think the limited RAM might be a factor. Um, okay, that's good. So this worked this time. Because uh, I was having a problem with this keyboard in, in another uh, stream that I was doing, but this time it, it worked okay. Um, I think that was Skyline. So, Evertail, yeah, I do agree with you. Like, the, I think the slow loading might be something to do with the, the RAM because, you know, we're hitting that, that file, that storage file, and it's a lot, lot slower than using the RAM. Yeah, I, I agree, yeah. The... Uh, 
I, I agree with that. Um, but we're using the we're using the file <clears throat> the file based memory, so it's going to be slower. But I can kind of live with that, you know. It's um, you know if if as long as the game loads up, I can kind of live with it. Not you know not working the best because I didn't you know I, I didn't go for the most expensive option. So we're in Pokemon Sword. Uh, we're getting 30 FPS here, which is pretty good uh, in this opening cutscene. Before it didn't, I think we couldn't even get past the uh, language selection. Like I, I couldn't, I pressed English and then it just crashed. Ah, okay, Paul, that, that would make sense because uh, I think this, they created some scripts uh, like six and eight gigabytes. And um, people found that the six and eight gigabyte ones that didn't really do much. So um, uh, yeah, that's something we can check. I'm using the four gigabyte script just for the uh, just for the record. Uh, but this Pokemon Sword intro is working really good actually. Um, so I can actually feel the Odin two heating up a little bit uh, than normal. So these Switch games are pushing the the device a bit more. Yep, uh, daylight silence. So you can, you know, you you can uh, you can try the script. Um, but I think when you know December uh, comes and and AYN uh, have actually sorted this out officially, I think you will get this same level of uh, of performance. So I think it should be quite good. Uh, I will. I do want to try and skip these intros, but some of them are, are not. <laughs> you know, I I can't I can't skip them. So I apologize about that. Yep, I can link the script later. Uh, if you have an Odin two base, um, I, I do, um, and you and you're okay to tinker with it, then I do I do recommend uh, you try it. Uh, yeah, sorry about this like cutscene, but I, I can't uh, I can't skip it. But I think it's a, uh, I think when we get into the game, you know, uh, we'll, we can confirm that it works, and then we'll we'll try another one. <laughs> but this intro look, you know, looks good. Oh, okay, so maybe we're actually in the game now. We've got some flickering shadows here. Uh, but the FPS is sticking around 30, so that's that's not too bad. Uh, yep, some... Uh, a bit. It was a bit slow loading into that room. Took a bit of time, but uh, it, it, when it was all loaded up, it was okay. Okay, can I... Okay, I can't skip. Um, has anybody played Pokemon Sword? Because I, I guess that it takes a while to get into the game, right? They're not going to put you into a fight straight away. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay, so we're in the game at least. <laughs> I don't have a switch lol. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, and uh 32. Oh, you're here. Okay, so I think you asked for Mario uh Mario Odyssey so I I can try that one. Like I think I have that one on the on the device. Uh I can pet the cat maybe or pet the whatever it is. Uh but I'm getting 30 FPS in this starting area and I can talk to people. Uh it's 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 pretty good. Uh, handheld mod, of course. I'm not running in docked mod. Uh, what the hell do I do? I'll get your bag and get your hat. Okay. Where's my... Where's my bloody... Is it there? Where's my bag? Oh, is it here? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> oh, that bag is huge. Go touch some grass. Go touch some bloody grass. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll, we'll try go. Uh, oh, okay, adventure guide. Okay, yep. Yeah, yeah men menu works. That's all good. Okay, get your ass outside. Get your ass outside, kid. Come on. And that was. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let me go outside. How do, how the bloody hell do you get outside? Oh. <laughs> I was trying to go into the toilet. 
Okay, so I guess it's loading now, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, wow, this looks pretty good. This looks all right. Some flashing textures in the back, but not, not a disaster, not a complete disaster. Yep, Brooks and uh, Joel Elgado, Metroid Dread, I will try that in a moment. Uh, there's a couple of uh, I, I do have that on the on the device, so I can I can try that one. Yep, looks looks good apart from a little you know some small glitches, but I think this one is uh, this one is very very good. <clears throat> okay, yeah, let's let's come on, let's go. Follow the sheep. Follow that bloody sheep. Oh, I crashed. I, I walked. I ran into the sheep. Okay, so a little bit. Yeah, some some glitches on the shadows. There are some options actually to uh, to change the graphics emulation to be slightly more accurate. So there there is an accurate setting that you can change. So maybe that would clear that up. Uh, but this is actually looking pretty good. Okay, so I think Pokemon is going to take a while to get going, right? So let's let's move on to the next game. Pokemon Sword, I think, is pretty good. Let's uh, let's move on. Okay. Uh, I remember. Uh, okay, let's let's go uh, let's go Dark Souls because I think there was a couple of. Um, yeah, there was a there was a request for Dark Souls about ten minutes ago, wasn't there? So let's go for that one. Yep, I do have a lot of games loaded onto this. I have a uh, five hundred twelve gigabyte card. Okay, so maybe like the last game, uh, you know, it takes a little bit of time to clear the memory up and. That's probably what it's doing. Uh, okay, so the FPS is slowly going up. Yep, so we got the loading icon. Uh, this is playing on my SD card. Uh, <laughs> uh, Brooks, sorry, I, I I don't have that loaded onto the machine, but um, I will go back and look at the chat, and then if I have time, I will make another, I'll do another video or something like that. Uh, okay, so spoilers, I I did try this earlier, and I, I did get it loading, so I know I know about the the issues with this one, so. Uh, it's just whoops. Whoa, what's going on there? Okay, it's just call my guy test. Oh, d does my okay? Does it not work? Tester, I'll call him the tester. Will that work? The tester, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, I mean, you guys all know, whoops, you guys all know Dark Souls yet, so let's just, I'll just, I'll just press anything, right? Uh, let's, let's just have a, a commoner, a shaved, shaved commoner. Uh, so, yeah, character selection looks good, uh, character creation looks good. Uh, we've got an intro cutscene. Let's skip that. Okay, so at the beginning of Dark Souls, there's this, uh, yeah, there's, there's a bit of a problem actually, but I, I've, because uh, I've already tried this in advance. So it, the problem is like the lighting is a bit messed up. Yes, indeed. Okay, so this is, the, this is the problem right here. Uh, the, the lighting is super messed up. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's really, like, I'm pretty sure they get the real games not like this. Uh, so I'll just pillage this corpse. 
and then I will get out of the room and then we'll see. Uh, okay, we'll see. Uh, okay, hopefully I can get in here. Okay, so you can see, right, there's sections of this where it looks amazing, it looks brilliant. But then if I walk into that room, it, the light do doesn't work, the lighting doesn't work. And uh, I bet that this, um, yeah, this is a bit, this is something which is probably uh, being looked at by a user team. Because when I'm when I'm running around here, it looks perfect, it looks brilliant, man. 30, full speed, uh, 30 FPS. Uh, yes, uh, so Visridge, that, that this is a, this is a problem with the Dark Souls game. Uh, the like some of the rooms they're just too dark, and it's it's like a, a graphical issue. But then when I'm running around here, right, it's good, as as you can see. But when I move here, all the lights turn off. <laughs> so yeah, it's um, it's a bit of a problem. Like I, I can't even see where I'm going. Uh, okay, so I, I can just barely see his feet here. So, yeah. So I think Dark Souls, like, it, it's not, I don't, I don't, I'm afraid it's not playable. Like, it's, it's so close. It's so close. It, it's really, really close. If they just fix that lighting so everywhere it's okay, then we'd be good. But right now, you know, I, I can't see where the hell I'm going. And there's just like flashes of, of it working properly. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to improve like, oh, yeah, you see here, right? Looks looks perfect, doesn't it? And then I'm going to open this door and get myself killed, right? Yeah, maybe you could get a save game or something. I, I don't know, but yeah, you see here? Looks, looks beautiful. Looks beautiful here. Uh, I'm just going to get myself killed by this guy. Oh, we're, actually, we got some FPS dips. But, um... Oh, yeah, a couple of FD FPS dips, but when I'm dying... Uh, Desmond 3, the swap uh, did improve the, yeah, it improved the, uh, the compatibility a lot. Okay, so that's how, that gives you an idea of what Dark Souls is like. Like, hopefully, um, you know, Yuzu team or the, maybe even like a new graphics driver would, fi would fix it. Um, possibly, but let's, uh, let's, let's try another game because we've got a lot to, to test. Yeah. At least we're getting into the games now. It's uh, it's much better. Uh, yeah. So, um, Metroid Dread, I think, was being asked for. So I can run Metroid Dread on my Iron Neo Pocket Air. No, uh, no problem. Uh, this guy. So um, when I when it didn't run on my Odin Two, I was quite surprised. But so then it should should run now. Uh, now we've got some uh, extra <laughs> extra virtual memory. Uh, okay, so this is something else that Yuzu can do. It can just uh, freeze up a bit. So it's, uh, if if this if this happens, you know, you just give it another. Oh, did it fix itself? Yeah, maybe it just fixed itself. Okay. Uh, yep. So just for the record, I'm using Yuzu uh, the today's build. I think it's version one two eight. Right, so again, it's taking a while to load. It could be a could be a memory issue. It could be the you know we're hitting that slow that slow memory, so that's why it's taking a while. Uh, I'd be surprised if this doesn't work actually. Uh, Paul, okay, so does the script create a swap? It creates a swap file on the internal storage, I believe. Uh, we can check it. Uh, I can, I can show. Okay, yeah. So we got this booting. Yep. So on the Ioneo, uh, this title screen doesn't work actually. 
Um, but it looks like it works well on on here. Okay, so I, oh, I actually do have a save here. Uh, Destan, look, uh, yes, I am. <clears throat> I am using the burst Odin too, and I'm using some community scripts uh, which help to enable the virtual memory option. <clears throat> Can I try clear that? Yeah, so there's a option here. It's called speed up, and if you press this, it, it tells you uh, what uh, what it does. So I, I don't have any extra processes running, so it's not really. Oh, it did actually clean one then. Uh, okay, yeah, it, it doesn't actually, um, sometimes it doesn't clear anything. Uh, Dark Souls worked. Uh, so Daylight Silence, Dark Souls worked, but there were some graphical issues. So there's some lighting issues in that game, where in some of the rooms it looks perfectly fine, and you get uh, between like 20, 30 FPS, but then in some of the rooms they're, they're just completely black. Uh, okay, so we have uh, Metroid Dread here. Um, so we're getting decent FPS. There's a little bit of a dip, I guess, maybe when it's loading something into the memory. <clears throat> I'm going to shoot this bad guy. Uh, and the bad guy is dead, uh, whatever it is. Okay, he's dead. Uh, whoops. Is it that one? It's that one. Okay. Free aim mod. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, slide under here. Yeah, Yuzu does uh, is has got my Odin 2 uh, up to 72 degrees, so it's quite high, actually. That's probably the highest I've seen it. Uh, I'm using the high-performance mod, and I'm, I have the fan on the smart setting. Uh, so that's like the automatic setting. And I can, I can hear it. I can hear the fan going. Uh, you can probably hear it as well, actually. Uh, hold R to ready missiles. Okay, yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, awesome. I've... Yep, that's done. Like, what I was saying before as well is, you know, the best model is, is you know, it's not a, a bad console at all. Like, um, with, with time it'll get, you know, this user stuff will get fixed. Uh, and, you know, you'll be able to play a couple of Switch games. You know, you don't, don't need to, uh, you know, you don't need to be feel bad about your base, base purchase. I mean, I went for the best because... Uh, because I, I didn't want to, you know, I don't, I don't like spending too much on a single handheld. Uh, RAM usage. So the RAM usage is 51, it says, 51% here. Uh, I can use high. Uh, uh, sorry, Desmond, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Are you talking about the fan or... Uh, oops, sorry, I went, I went, I, I went, I came from there. Uh, but to me, this game works. It's it's pretty good in in on Odin too, uh, because in on the Iron Neo, it, it's there's some graphical issues now and again. So um, I thought that I think that this game looks good. Did No Man's Sky? Work? Yeah, I, I want to try that one because portable No Man's Sky would be very cool. I would be very, uh, very interested in playing No Man's Sky on a on a portable. <clears throat> Oops. Uh, let's just kill another bat and then we'll call it a day with this game. Oh, let's kill this guy as well. Then. Okay, so. Metroid Dread running pretty well, I think pretty good. A um, couple of little FPS dips here and there, but I think it's okay. Uh, much one of the better games that we've tried today. 
so let's quit out of this one. Uh, oh, I think, okay. Um, okay, so... Is the side temperature panel accurate? It's showing 70 plus. I think it is probably accurate. And it, the, what it is, is the sensor is, is probably right on top of the CPU. So 70 degrees is not to be... Uh, it's nothing to worry about. I think 70 is actually okay. Uh, we do have a good cooling system in here uh, f to, to get rid of that heat. What you would be worried about is like 85 or high 80s. That, that to me would be a uh, cause for concern. But low 70s is, is, is okay, I think. Maybe a problem with low 70s is that you're, you're going to feel it in your hands. Like uh, when you're playing one of these... Heavy switch games, you're going to start feeling some hit, some uh, some heat. Uh, okay, so I think that um, there was a... I need to get through some of these requests. So uh, there was a request for Mario Odyssey a long time ago by EAN32. So I've, I, wrote, I wrote it down, so I'm going to try it. Yeah, but Paul, uh, I was also wonder, wondering about this, right? If it was just a few lines of code, right? Why? Why didn't uh, AYN just do it? You know, when they were when they were manufacturing this uh, device, why didn't they just sort it out? Because uh, that's a bit strange to me as well. Oh, uh, okay. So we might have uh, a game which just doesn't load, but at least it's not like completely freezing our our device. Let me just try that again, Mario Odyssey. Oh, okay, so we got it to load. Try playing with detached... Well, I can't detach my uh, controls. Sorry about that. Oops. Yep, so sometimes you get Yuzu just crashing out or, you know, uh, returning to the menu or just quitting out. And it's worth trying the game, like, one or two times. Well, we just... Okay, we had some weird sound there. Okay, so the movie doesn't play too well on Mario Odyssey. Okay, what? Okay, uh, not not too bad. I don't think we're getting full speed here. And um, yeah, we're not getting full speed. We're getting around 40 FPS, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but it is, it's working, it's working. For, uh, yeah, between like, it's around about 45 FPS, 50 FPS. This is in handheld mode. It's not in docked mode. Uh, I'm not sure if that makes a difference, right? Sometimes it does. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in handheld mode. <clears throat> uh, do you have Minority Report on GameCube? Uh, I can try it. Uh, maybe not in this stream, but in a GameCube video on a stream, I can definitely, uh, I can definitely try it. Uh, let, let me just try that. Uh, let me just check that docked mod thing. I just want to make sure. Uh, oh, I have the accuracy level on high actually. That that could give us a little bit of a boost. If I if I bring the accuracy level maybe down a bit, that might work. Uh, yeah, Matt, just to confirm that I'm on the uh, handheld mod.
Okay, so the accuracy didn't make much of a difference. I think that this, even though this is not running at like full speed, it's actually not too bad. I would, oh, the shadow looks a bit odd there. Oh yeah, we, we, okay, so with the accuracy on the normals, it's, I'm getting a bit, yeah, I'm getting close to full speed now on some of these parts, but you can see that his shadow doesn't look very accurate. So you can, you can tweak those settings. Oh, oh no, have we got a crash? Okay, so this is the first crash. I think that it just exploded the memory. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, it didn't completely die, but it's um, yeah. It looks like Mario Odyssey has has frozen, which is a shame. Okay, um, so that that could happen with some of these games, I guess. Nice work, yeah. Nice crash. Yeah, I, f I think you jinxed it. <laughs> you said it was running great and like, um, yeah, I, f I think you jinxed it. <laughs> okay, so I'll just uh, clean everything up and uh, maybe give, give the screen a wipe. <laughs> no, no, let's, let's go. Let's keep, let's keep going. We, we're doing, we were on a good run. Okay, so who who was uh, what was next? Uh, was it Nia? Um, we we wanted to try Nia next, right? Or not? No Man's Sky needs more RGB. Okay, so I'll I will try Nia uh, Automata. Uh, let's uh, hopefully this game works. Uh, this game is quite a big one. I think it's like maybe 12 gigabyte on the SD card. Uh, taking a little bit of a while loading, so we may need to may need to restart Yuzu. Uh, okay, so while this is going, maybe I'll, I'll just catch up with the chat. Okay, uh, swap was dead roof. Yeah. Okay, I think it died. I think this is not loading. Let me just try again. Uh, let's just kill kill Yuzu. Like anything like that goes wrong in the menus and just freezes or sticks for you. Just try restarting it and then. Okay, we'll see. Okay, that's good. Just make sure everything's all good. High performance. Yeah, just make sure everything's all good before we try again. Uh, use it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of a, a running joke uh, on this channel, Darcy, because. There's people who don't want me to to wipe the screen, and then there's people who, uh, there's me who I I really want to wipe the screen. Okay, so this game it looks like it's loading. Right, I don't remember what. Oh, the first level of this is like a shooting game, isn't it? Okay, we're getting into the menu, it looks like. Oh, sorry, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, there's some... Oh, some, some little graphical issue there. That might be 
problem. Uh, software keyboard uh, tester. Test tested. <laughs> okay. Oh no no no. Oh. Test. Yeah, but th I had to use the keyboard then. Sorry about that. I'm going to wipe the screen off off camera so then people don't know. <laughs> so people don't get bored about it. No, I, I don't like the smudges. Oh, I think we got some issues already. Yeah, we've got some... Uh, I don't know if those... Is that meant to be there? Those borders? Oh, okay. Uh, I want to... I want to skip. The borders are meant to be there. Okay, good. Oops. I don't have Skyrim, man, Fred, but I, I do want to. I think portable Skyrim would be cool. I have been trying to get Oblivion to work on uh, the Windows emulator, but I wasn't getting very far. At all I wasn't even getting past the uh, character creation on uh, on Oblivion. Oh, sorry. I keep pressing my, my task manager. Yeah, so, something doesn't look right to me. Like, there's a lot of flashing. The speed looks okay, but the... Uh, we're getting 30 FPS, but something doesn't look right with the ship. Or the other ships. The, the bad guys. Yeah, it's a little bit of... A little bit of disco going on. <laughs> yeah, the accuracy. Let me try the. Uh, let me just pause this, and I will try the put the accuracy up. But we, we might lose a bit of a bit of speed. So you do have these options, and uh, sometimes they help, I guess. But we'll see. Uh, I think this this other guy looks like he's fixed, but the player doesn't look like the the player uh, ship doesn't look fixed. Uh, this oh Darcy, this is a um, sorry, I'm just playing. Uh, it, this is an Android device. It's a Snapdragon eight generation two, and I have the eight gigabyte version. How much does it cost? Uh, I 
I don't know the so what currency. <laughs> I think it costs about two seventy USD now, two hundred and seventy US dollars. Uh, yeah, excluding excluding shipping, right? So it's about two nine nine now, isn't it? Okay, yeah. So we're getting some problems in in uh, near. Yep, some some disco, uh, some disco textures. Okay, I'm I'm gonna call it there because it's it's becoming a bit unplayable. Uh, but that's a bit of a shame because that that game is uh, I know a lot of people like that game. Okay, uh, so No Man's Sky was another game which was requested. Let's try that one. Oh, it just crashed. Uh, let me try again. No Man's Sky. Disco Elysium. Uh, I think the Disco Elysium, I tried this game uh, on the Pocket Air and actually actually worked. Okay, so we got something. Right. Uh, what the hell do I do here? <laughs> um, I played No Man's Sky a really long time ago before any of this stuff was released. But if this game works, then I would be pretty pleased. Uh, yeah, I could do. I think it's loading, isn't it? I, I don't know how long uh, No Man's Sky takes to load. So, oh, actually, it looks, looks all right. But you can try those uh, accuracy settings to tweak things a bit. <clears throat> Little nightmares. Uh, I don't have this on the machine at the moment. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> looks like it can't play No Man's Sky. So we crashed just before it loaded. So Darcy, if you're not um, if you're not familiar with this machine, uh, it's quite a new handheld. It's using a Snapdragon 8 Gen Gen 2. Uh, it's found that that's in the uh, Samsung Galaxy S23, I believe. So you can you can uh, you can imagine you know how how um, advanced the chip is if it's the same as a as a Samsung uh, 23 S23. Uh, the battery is really really good on this device. It's 7,000 milliamps, I believe. And you're not going to find that on a on a phone, or uh, I think even the Steam Deck is only uh, four thousand five hundred, is it, or five uh, five thousand milliamps something? Uh, so um, yeah, that that one's also going to be uh, a factor the battery life. Uh, okay, what other games have we got? So I think uh, I didn't try a Fire Emblem game yet, and I believe there was a lot of. Uh, a lot of requests. So, any requests on the Fire Emblem? Oh, eight thousand. Sorry, yeah. Eight, okay, yeah. Th this this one is eight thousand, right? And the Pocket Air is seven thousand. Some, something like that. I remember it was it was one or the other. <coughs> uh, I'm just going to try again, which uh, uh, which I wanted to see. So, Need for Speed. Uh, was it Most Wanted remastered? Oh, okay. Sorry, three three houses. Okay, I'll I'll try three houses in a moment. Fire Emblem three houses. Uh, this game uh, is looks like it's working as well. So, yeah, this this memory thing really like increased the compatibility. Like it's just way better. I think Android 
Like even though I think uh, Bald Boltman Boltman was saying earlier. Uh, oh, let me just turn this down a bit. Boltman was saying earlier it's optional, but like. Um, He, he was saying swap file is optional, but then like nothing works with it off. <laughs> so, so well, that text is that really is the small print, eh? That that's what EA get you to uh, agree to. Uh, <laughs> uh, that that's just like EA, right? Look, that is bloody small that print. Bloody hell. Okay, can I can I just like drive? I just want to drive. Oh, is, is this game like Burnout? Okay, come on, come on, yeah. Oh, okay, we got a car. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Start. Yeah, blimey, this uh, this font is um, this font is like bloody unreadable for me. Like I'm wearing glasses here, and yeah. Oh, thanks for that, uh, Andrew. Uh, sorry, Alistair Crowley. Uh, thanks for thanks for the. Uh, the warning about the copyrighted music. Thanks for that. Uh, could have got my could have got the copyright striked. Oh, is it this which button? Oh, okay. Right, so this game, Need for Speed uh, Remastered, whatever it is, NFS. Some minor glitches, but pretty good. Just turn this down a bit. Oh, there's some, yeah, some flashing textures, but. The FPS is quite high, uh, quite stable, sorry. Not bad. Whoa. <laughs> Press A for nitrous. Uh, I thought I was already going pretty fast, to be honest. Okay, so that is Need for Speed Hot Pursuit to be remastered. Uh, is the trigger analog for this game? Oh, let me let me just test it. Uh, so oh no, I don't think it is. Uh, I don't think it is actually. I don't think because the trigger doesn't feel like I'm not. It doesn't. The car doesn't move. When I, um, it only moves when I go right down to the bottom. Yeah, I don't think the trigger is analog for this game. Mm. 
That's a bit of a shame. Um, maybe it's a Yuzu thing, like you need to map the analog cor correctly or something, but that would been that would be cool. Uh, there's no like there's no like input options I think here, but uh, this one was was pretty impressive. There were some minor glitches, like graphical glitches, but the 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 frames per second, the speed of the game was quite good I think. Uh, I don't see any like control menus to configure that, so that's that might be something to. Oh, the original Switch doesn't have analog triggers. Ah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's why it was working like that. Okay, so someone was asking for Fire Emblem Free Houses. Uh, let's just see if that one works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got you guys figured it out before me. Uh, I was thinking, like, what's going on? Okay, so we got another successful game here. Uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, running a bit slow, I think, actually. So let's see if maybe the uh, only the menus are like this. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a bloody small text again. Like, got to get me, get my magnifying glass out, get my monocle out. Bloody hell. <clears throat> Yeah, so this cutscene's a bit slow, like 15 FPS. Uh, I will just wipe the screen for you. Thank you for your support, Fluffy Dog. I know you, you're watching a lot of these streams. I've seen you around, so thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. So yeah, this cutscene's a little bit a little bit slow, it looks like, but let's uh, let's see if see how the game plays. Uh, okay, so the uh, I, I'm not sure what this game's all about. So <laughs> I, I've got no idea what this game is. Uh, so okay, so I can uh, select a character, I guess a form, as they call it. Okay, the the speed's improved. Uh, I'm a ghost, I'm a de demon, I'm a mortal. Uh, I, I see. And you must have a name of sorts. Okay, this is... Like, the beginning of this game wasn't running well at all, but... But now it's, uh, it's got sped up. Uh, Evertale, um, what type of game is this? Is it like a, is it an RPG, action RPG or is it more of a turn-based RPG or something like that? Tactical RPG. Okay, so it's kind of like a... Um, Tactics Ogre or Final Fantasy Tactics, something like this. Anime RPG. <laughs> okay, this this is uh, running good now. So the beginning was not... Uh, beginning was a bit, you know, uh, 15 FPS, 20 FPS, but it uh, looks like it's good now. Yeah, this, this text is a bit small. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with you, Darcy. This is not my type of game. I think that the... You know, because it's not really a, an action game, I think that it's actually quite playable at this uh, this speed. I think it's not too bad, actually. <clears throat> uh, 
maybe there's some kind of uh, there's some resolution settings we can bring it down a bit. You know, to um, instead of at the full 1080p, we can go down to oh sorry 720p. We can go down a bit, and maybe that will help the speed. Uh, but oh, okay, it's this type again. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. So yeah, th this game doesn't run at full speed, but it does. Everything looks like it works okay. Not not too bad. Uh, but I'll I'll leave you guys to uh to 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 try this one. <clears throat> okay. So what what's next? Um, any any requests here? So I'll give you a little browse of the full list. We've uh, we've tried a lot of these and we've we've had some decent success actually. Uh, maybe Mario 3D World uh, and then maybe uh, Zelda. Oh, uh, Zeno Zeno Blood Chronicles. Uh, I don't know what that one is. Zeno. Okay. Let's try this. Uh, what type of game is Xenoblade Chronicles? Is it like a um, like a character action game, or uh, is it like Devil May Cry, or is it more like an RPG? Or I don't think I've ever ever played any Xeno game, Xenoblade games. Open world action RPG. Okay. Oh, kind of kind of lazy with the ten. That's brilliant. That's my first uh, super. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thanks so much for this first super. Good luck. Brilliant. Uh, okay, let's go for Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, I recognize that logo who just gave me uh, 10 HK dollars. <laughs> Thanks very much. Uh, skip. Does that say skip? Oh, yeah, skip. <clears throat> okay. L or R to target a monster. Okay, let's try this. Wow, this uh, this one's pretty good, man. Let's target the monster. Okay. How do I do this? Oh, oh it's real time. Oh, auto, auto attack, okay. Uh, is, that, is that a bit dark for you? Uh, let, let me just... Uh, let me just increase the brightness a bit. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, so... Uh, whoop, I just, the sword just got really big. Uh, but I don't see any, like, odd... Or graphical issues or little you know problems so I think this one actually is working pretty well yeah I think this game is uh, the intro anyway it looks pretty playable oops yep What am I doing? Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, you guys were saying this is quite a demanding game, but this is doing quite well. I, I think, uh, I think it's doing really well. that guy is then that's quite funny okay uh Darcy, uh, do you remember that you, with Android you can play all you can play Final Fantasy seven. Uh, you can play even Final Fantasy ten or eleven, twelve uh, on this console as well. So you can play literally every Final Fantasy from one to like twelve on this uh, device. Can I run Tetris? <laughs> Uh, so Tetris is actually one of my favorite games. So uh, I, I play that a lot on my uh, on my Miu, Miu Mini. Uh, Crisis Core. Um, Crisis Core just came out, right? So I'm not sure if that one. It, it might. I think Crisis Core on Switch it could probably play. Yeah. So this this device can play a lot of games, uh, Darcy. It's, uh, it's it's quite cool. Is this a, oh, it's a it's a cutscene. I thought that was the real game. Okay, right. So this game, I, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty like this is uh, really good. The the graphics look pretty good as well. I I would be uh, yeah I would be okay playing this game on the Odin too. Look look how sharp that grass is. That this looks uh this is pretty damn good and and 30 FPS as well stable 30 FPS. Uh, okay, so let's let's quit out of this. Uh, this is handheld, uh, handheld mod. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, yeah, so I was on handheld mod. I, I'm maybe even you could go a docked mod for that. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, Doom. I, I don't have Doom lying around, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I can. What I'll do right is I'll I'll come back later and. Uh, uh, well, not later, but I, <laughs> I will look at this chat and then read all of the games that I didn't uh, get around to and then maybe do another stream later. Uh, let me just bring the brightness down a little bit just to make sure things are okay uh, with my camera. Whoops. Uh, also, um, 
Yeah, if if you don't know, the Odin Two can do uh, game streaming. So if you if you have like a uh, subscription with Xbox or uh, I think PlayStation have it now, right? Uh, you can do a um, you can do the cloud streaming with this device as well. So it's uh, you know it's really it's a really versatile Android device. Uh, Android's got a lot of apps you can play on it. Uh, Mike Laser, yeah, so. We've been playing, uh, I mean, most of the time these games have been starting up. Uh, we've got some, you know, variety of results, but uh, I'll do a quick summary then. So Dark Souls, um, we we could start the game and the FPS was okay. Uh, there were a couple of slowdowns when I was getting killed, but the biggest problem with this one is that there's some rooms that are just really dark. So then you when you're walking around with them, it's, it's uh, well, you can't see anything, but they're just, they're just black. Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, we played this game, and the graphics look really good in this game. But the problem with this one is that it, it took quite a long time to load. So I'm not sure if that's the the game itself. Like it, on the Switch, it, you know, maybe it took a long time to load as well. But uh, everything seemed to work well. But the the game was, uh, yeah, it, it took a while to load. Uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, we just played as well. So the game, uh, the FPS was a bit low, but. Uh, as it's a slower pace game, it was probably okay, I think. But it was running in like the twenties and um, twenties and thirties. Not not really high FPS with that one. Um, what else did we try here? Okay, Mario Kart Eight. We've we've played before on on stream, and this one runs good. Uh, Metroid Dread. We we played today, and um, it runs uh, pretty good. Uh, most of the time, sixty FPS. You'll get a few minor dips uh, now and again, but nothing really serious. Uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. We played this. Uh, the speed was solid, 30 FPS. It was pretty good. Uh, it was. Um, there were f like a few flashes of like green textures, but I think that on the whole it was pretty good. Um, and we found out that the Switch, of course, doesn't have analog triggers. Uh, Nia um, Automata, it worked, but there were some glitches and some. I think this was probably one of the bad ones from today. Where um, the the ship was was uh, was glitching out, and then some of the backgrounds were also glitching out. Uh, no Man's Sky crashed when I tried to get into the game. Pokemon saw uh, the cutscene and running around the the initial house and the uh, initial village worked worked fine. Uh, Super Mario 3D World uh, did we did we check this? I think it I think it crashed this one. Um, Mario Bros Wonder. I finished the first level. Uh, but I think that this one, I know that this one uses a lot of memory, so I wouldn't be surprised if it crashes later. Because I have I know somebody on the Discord is saying that on their 16 gig machine, it uses like 12 gigabytes of memory. So this one might, might end up crashing. Uh, Mario Odyssey, we played it a bit and the FPS was kind of um, up and down. And then it crashed when we tried to uh, <laughs> lower a bridge or something. Uh, Smash Brothers, I've, I've played before actually, so I know this one works. And then Xenoblade, um, we just tried. Uh, yeah, we just tried just now. All these are Switch games. Uh, and I was playing on uh, handheld mode, and I was using the Odin 2 in uh, high performance, and then I was using the smart fan setting. So the fan right now is, is fine, uh, but I can. Uh, running some of these Switch games, I, I must admit, I can feel a bit more heat. Uh, on this side so I the way I hold the console is like this and I can feel my my hand on the left side heating up a little bit uh, so I, I can uh, feel that the you know the switch is requiring a bit more power to to um, to bust out these games uh, yep yeah, Darcy this is all switch emulation uh, Genshin Impact can play with max settings. So I'm not sure, uh, sorry, I'm not a Genshin Impact uh, expert. Uh, I think it probably can do pretty well. Uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, I'll just try uh, Zelda, because I think uh, Darcy just um, just requested it. Uh, can you local stream with Xbox app if you have console PC? So uh, th there is an app called uh, Visridge here, uh, asks this question. So there is an app called Moonlight, which I use to do a local stream, and I was trying Alan Wake 2, and it worked okay um, on my uh, when I was streaming from my my PC uh, to to the Odin 2. Uh, it it worked okay in the, in the first first area. Um, I just had a quick test, and 
uh, I was with uh, it's called Moonlight on the Odin Two, and then the application you run on the PC is called Sun Sunshine, I think. Uh, EAN N thirty two, you got me hyped up to receive. Yep, yeah, brilliant. I hope I hope you get yours soon. I hope it ships soon. Um, I think they got to like ten thousand or something. They got really high on the uh, shipping list uh, for the base. So hopefully uh, EAN N thirty two, it comes quickly for you. Um, Mario three D World works great. For, okay, maybe I maybe I got a bad download or something. Um, sea of Stars. I think we tried Sea of Stars maybe in the last stream. Uh, is high performance mode needed for Switch? For Switch? Uh, I I don't know. I, I'm, I've been going on high performance mode, but I think someone is saying uh, maybe the medium mod is is uh, also fine for Switch. But we'll see. Uh, Tears of the King doesn't work well on anything. Okay, we'll we'll find out. <laughs> um, but we're in the first cave at the moment. It's like thirty FPS. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Um, so Breath of the Wild, uh, I was... Yeah, I, I didn't uh, get hold of, so um, I, I, I could try that later. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Darcy. Thank you for uh, for spending your time on this stream. It's, it's brilliant. Uh, your support's brilliant. Uh, okay, so your average Dylan sounds like he's tried this, but... Uh, I guess that in this cave it's okay, but when you get outside it will it will uh, tank. Uh, the FPS will... Oh, it's already tanking a bit. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we'll we'll make this the last game tonight because uh, we've been going for about uh, a while. I think the graphics look pretty good. I mean, we, I don't see any obvious glitches um, apart from the speed. What version of Citra do you use for the Odin 2? Uh, so I've not done any 3DS uh, emulation, I'm afraid, on the Odin 2 yet. Um, I do want to try it, but uh, I think the recommended one is the... Uh, the recommended two are the nightly version or the, the development version, uh, which is the, the latest one, or the is it the MMJ version? I think those are the um, recommended... You you're probably okay with the like the um, the nightly right because the MMJ is usually for the lower end handhelds or the handhelds that can't handle the the uh, the latest one. Uh, I must admit this looks pretty good. Uh, but I guess when you get outside, it, it the FPS just goes to, to hell. Uh, does, does it take a while to get outside? I guess it. I guess it does. Oh, you you swing the sword and then you lose five p f fps. <laughs> twenty twenty minutes. Okay, so um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get there. Um, right. So let me just answer a few more questions here. Uh, I think you need the thirty fps patch. Okay, so I haven't patched anything, so yeah, it's gonna it's probably gonna be unplayable later. Um, but yeah, this is uh. This is some Zelda running at least. Okay, so is uh, Xbox app only does 720p. Xbox player does 1080p with higher Britain. Okay. Uh, yeah, you really. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, you want to be streaming 1080p at least. You know, if you because this is a 1080p screen, so uh, you you wanna you wanna max it out.
Yeah, it's it's probably an emulator issue if they haven't like if it's just universally too slow. Okay, so I mean, I, I don't have uh, I don't have twenty minutes. I'm afraid, so I'm I'm gonna have to call it here. Um, yeah, Yuzu has a long way to go. Uh, I, I agree with your average Dylan what he's just saying now. Uh, but it's pretty cool that we can see uh, see something. Okay, uh, Mario Wonder. I, I tried at the very beginning of the stream, uh, so it it works okay. Uh, the well, the first level anyway. But I've got a feeling that it, uh, it might be a bit more difficult to run later on because. Uh, I've heard on the Max, it's using a lot of memory on that one. Okay, so we're going to leave it here. Thanks very much for joining the stream. Um, you can, I will add some timestamps and you can check those out uh, later on if you want to forward back to any, uh, rewind back to any uh, game tests that I did today. And then I gave that explanation about what this uh, community patch was all about. So you can check that out and uh, see... Uh, if you if you want to risk it and try it on your own base, you can do. Um, thank you to your average Dylan for for um, for joining. Uh, Mark Keller, Darcy, uh, Adia, Roman, uh, Andrew S. Thanks to everyone. I, I've I recognise your names, so you you've been watching here for a while. So uh, in the last couple of streams, so thanks very much for your support. Um, that's been brilliant, and I will see you guys in the next stream. Uh, I will probably do a PS2 stream next because I think a lot of people have been uh, add, adding a lot of people have been adding requests for the PS2. Uh, Destan, uh, thank you very much for your support. Uh, yeah, I have a really big list of PS2 requests uh, that people have been making, and I've just been sitting on them. So I'll either be doing a stream or a video next. But this this thing came up. Um, yeah. Okay. It's all good. So thank you very much. Have a good day. Yep. Yeah. Don't use <laughs> don't use Need for SX2. Uh, yes, I don't use Need for SX2 for PS2 emulation, so don't worry. Uh, I use the old uh, 3668 version. So uh, thanks very much for joining, and I'm just going to hang out in the chat for a little bit to make sure that uh, all of the questions on Discord have been checked out, and I will also add the uh, timestamps to this stream so you can come back and uh, check out the games or check out what I talked about at the beginning. Thanks very much.